time for something a little bit different. I'm going to attempt to make a skylight out of a double glazed unit. Um, got one here. It's pretty long um, and it's going to go up, up in there. So I've got some aluminium T section. I'm going to cut it down. So the size of the T-section looks around about right. Um, the cut is pretty good. Um, so this is gonna allow a slight gap here that will be filled up with silicon or actually probably kind of windscreen bonding adhesive. Um, the depth is perfect because what that will do is allow the glass to just be proud of the frame and therefore runoff water will just run straight off the top, which is perfect. So this stuff's pretty mental. Um, you have to get the temperature up pretty high in the metal. Um, I didn't have the torch up enough to start with. And also I had it on a metal surface, like thick 
solid steel and I think the heat was just leaching through so putting it on bricks has really worked really well so you just find if you just keep on um, rubbing the rod just over it like this all of a sudden it will just take and you can see this tiny little line in here and it's actually turned out pretty neat well this this one hasn't but um, look at this inside one yeah, that that is lovely so fingers crossed I think also don't be shy on your V'ing out um, I think like the deeper the V the better the hold So just reporting on what I've kind of learned so far. Um, at first I thought it was like the devil's toothpick, a right horrible thing. But anyway, um, if you are trying to go onto your piece of work like, um, like this and the rod balls up like this and falls onto there, you're getting the rod too much in the the heat into the flame. You want to heat up the work so much that when you run this along it, you can you can take the flame away while you do this as well, and just run that along it, and it will it should um, just create a nice thin silver line. Secondly what you really want to do is really V out these surfaces, surfaces here and here. You want quite a deep channel so that it's got something to go into because um, it doesn't actually melt the, the metal that you're working on. It literally just sticks it together. So if you've got a deeper V, you're going to get a stronger joint. Um, I might um, do up a couple of these and test them with like pliers and stuff to see how strong they are um, but in the meantime the frame is together so I'm going to bond in the window and that will just make it strong enough anyway <laughs> 